Hello friends! In this video we will review a small but a very useful device, which is multifunction tester LCR T7. From the very beginning I planned to buy two devices, LCR T4 and M328. The first one had no color LCD screen, unlike the second one, but both devices require 9 volt power supply. As to this device, it has its own battery. As to the battery, I have removed it and checked with the capacity checker. According to the inscription we have 350 milliamp hours. But according to my first impression of working with this device, the capacity amounted approximately to 150 milliamp hours. However, according to the results of the capacity check, the real capacity amounts to 303 milliamp hours. The device can check bipolar transistors, MOSFETs, JFETs, diodes, including xenodiodes, capacitors, resistors, inductors, and even can measure the battery voltage from 0.1 up to 4.5 volts. As to the sockets, here we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 3, and as to this area, it's designed for Zener diodes. This device came together with a USB cable, connection probes, calibration connector, capacitor and diode. First of all, let's turn the device on. Here we have the battery voltage, 3.87 volts, no unknown or damaged part. Let's calibrate the device. The second, the first, and the third pin. Self test mode. Please isolate probe. It needs certain time for calibration process. Self-test end. Let's check these two parts. Let it be second and third. Capacitor. Here we have voltage loss 2.1%, ESR 2.1 ohms, and capacity 18.05 microfarads. Now let's check. 10 microfarads. Let's check the light emitting diode. Forward voltage 1.84 volts and capacity 7 picofarads. Here we have 1 millifarad capacitor. But now we will need these probes. 942.4 microfarads. Voltage loss 1.7% and ESR 0.21 ohms. Another one. 56 microfarads. 52.58. Voltage loss 0.5% ESR 0.65 ohms. 524 nanofarads, 495 ESR 0.06 ohms. Let's check this part. J304 MOSFET transistor. And here we have all the data. It's really very useful when you have no idea about the pins. Let's check this part. Here we have KA7812. Oh, this is 12 volt stabilizer. But let's insert this part and see the results. No unknown or damaged part. Oh, the part is not damaged. 
but this is the integrated circuit, well, that's why we have no result. Now let's check inductance. Here we have 22 millihenry, but this device has not a possibility to display 0 0.022, and it shows the approximate value. 0 0.03 millihenry and resistance 0 0.23 ohms. Resistance. Here we have 1 ohm resistor. 1.15. Not bad taking into consideration the resistance of the wires. 560 ohms. 572.7. 13 kilo ohms. 13.14. 0 0.51 ohms, 0 0.66 ohms, but let's try to measure the resistance without the probes. 0 0.51 ohms, a very precise result, it's really amazing. The diode LT5315, forward voltage 599 volts and capacity 80 picofarads. The device can check even triax. Here we have BT136. So here we have really the scheme of triac and even forward voltage amounts to 804 millivolts. Let's check this MOSFET transistor F3NK80ZFP. Here we have all the data. It must be noted that the device is not designed for professional use. And in case of this transistor, we can get only the approximate data. But the device is really very useful in case of some transistors with the same parameters. For instance, I have five transistors IRF3205, and I need to use only two ones in my scheme. Let's test all of them. The second one. The third one. the last one. Now we have obtained the necessary data and for my needs I will select these two ones. Also let's conduct the battery test. Cell 2.88 volts. Now let's insert the battery into the remote control and check it. Here we have the remote control code, and this is the button code. Also, let's check Zenor diode. So the device really checks it. Before we measure the dimensions and the weight of this device, I would like to mention its measurement range. Capacitance from 25 picofarads up to 100 millifarads. Resistance from 0 0.01 ohms up to 50 mega ohms. Inductance from 0 0.01 millihenry up to 20 henry. And the battery voltage from 0 0.1 up to 4.5 volts. 9 centimeters. 7 centimeters. 2.8 centimeters. 92 grams. As for the charging process, here we have the USB port. Now it's red, and as soon as the device is charged, it becomes green. Before getting over the multifunction tester, I was interested in the method how the device defines a part and measures its parameters. 
So now let's visualize the checking process with the help of double light emitting diode and the oscilloscope. Red, green, red, green, red. Let's press the button once more. Plus, 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 minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, 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 small plus. So here is the method, with the help of which the device defines the polarity, conductivity, resistance, capacitance and inductance. Now about the advantages and disadvantages. The first and the main advantage of this device is that you have no need for some special tricks during transistor check. You simply insert the part and press the button. The second advantage is that the device has its own battery and you can check tens and even hundreds of parts. And of course the battery is rechargeable. The third advantage is possibility of capacity check, resistance check, inductance check and even battery check. The fourth advantage is that the device is very small and lightweight. As to the disadvantage, I can say that for me it is not a disadvantage, but anyway the device is not a professional one, and in my opinion it's not designed for industrial use. Nevertheless it has more or less decent accuracy and has a lot of functions for such small and relatively cheap device. Hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.